Hey everyone, thanks for joining. It's Patty from PS Paper Crafts, and I have another fun gift card holder um, to show you how to make today. I'm trying to do them every Friday in the month of November, although last Friday I missed because I had emergency surgery on my little dog, Bailey. He's a Boston Terrier, and um, I had to take him in for surgery on Thursday, and um, I've been watching him. He's had the cone on. It just has been a little bit crazy. <laughs> uh, he's doing better now. He got the stitches and the drain out, and he's just healing. So I'm here today. I may do an extra one uh, during the month of November just to make up for it. But anyway, this is the card that I'm making, and it just it's a gift card holder, and it opens up this way and then this way, and you put your gift card in here. Now you could decorate this as well um, if you wanted to. You could put this paper in there or you could put some other kind of decoration. And then we have the Sending Cheer. Um, I used the Sending Cheer uh, stamp set because I thought the little um, stocking worked well. And I love these um, sentiments. So open me and then you could put no peeking. Uh, to and from you could put it to and from over here and then sending cheer and i am using this paper i haven't used this paper before traditions of saint nick i'm not sure about it to be honest i didn't get the stamp set it's very old-fashioned and if you like that I, this i love this is beautiful um but they have the santa claus is kind of the old-fashioned saint nicholas um i like the backs of the paper um, so I'm just not sure about it. So these are the sheets and I just figured I would do the stockings. I love the, the B side, I call it. Um, I was going to make one out of this and I decided I'll do the next one out of a completely different paper. So we're going to use the, uh, let's see, a walk in the forest. And this is the paper that if you um, purchase the paper, um, they send money. Uh, I think it's $3. Yeah, I just ran and got my catalog. So this is the Making a Difference paper. Um, so they'll donate $3 to support organizations dedicated to spreading cheer and providing support to those in need. So for every pack purchased, they send $3 or donate $3. And it does uh, coordinate with the merriest of trees and then the um the bear punch so it's it's a nice paper it's a fun paper and i wanted to do a fun one so that's what we're doing on this one so this will put the belly band back it's a little bit tight i think i'll make it a little bit looser on this one so you just have to really get it in there that's the one thing about belly bands when you uh adhere it together wrap it around Sometimes you make it too tight to get it on and off. So we'll keep that in mind. I'm also going to use the Sending Cheer, and I'll do the present on the inside of this one. So I have my pieces cut. I'm using uh, Pretty Peacock, which I love. And then I have my Designer Series paper cut, and a white piece cut, and then the belly band. So this piece is eight and a half by six and a quarter. But don't worry about writing anything down. I will have it all on... Um, a project sheet with instructions, measurements, pictures that you can just print out and um, save and then make your own and make it with whatever paper you want. So the first thing we're going to do is get our trimmer out and we want to score this. So this is the eight and a half side um, and we're going to score it at four and a quarter. So we're, we're scoring it right in half. Okay, and then we're going to turn it and score on the six and a quarter side, and this will be three and one eighth. So the one eighth is between the three and the three and a quarter, that kind of middle line. Okay, and then we're going to do some cutting. We want to cut off this top corner, this one here. So I like to fold it to see which one I'm doing. So we're going to put this right in the groove where the cutting is, and we're going to cut this down to this score line. Okay, so we're just going to cut it, and there is a line here. I don't know if you can see it. 
that helps you. You can also put, um, you know, a piece of white under here to see and go down to whatever, you know, uh, whatever line you want. But I'm just going to eyeball it and go right down to this line. Okay. And then we're going to, I just want to make sure I'm going the right way. We're going to cut down here and we're going to cut down a little bit um, lower than the score line, like an eighth of an inch. So we're at three and an eighth, and we're going to go down to three. And that will just help it with the bulk of the card. So I'm going to start here and go up. Okay. And if you have to trim it because you didn't go down that far, just take your snips and trim it there. Okay, so now we have our card, right? So let's put this aside. We're all done with this. And I'm just gonna take my bone folder and just burnish it, make sure it folds nice. And we're gonna save this because we're gonna use that for the inside um, pocket. So let's do that now. I've got my trimmer still here. Um, so the pocket is two and a half. So we're gonna cut off where there's this little um, score line. <laughs> I can't think. So two and a half. And then we want it to be four. So we'll go up to four. And cut that off <clears throat> okay so now we have all our pieces I forgot about that piece so now we want to kind of build our card um, I am using the double oval punch and that's what I used on this one for the outside and for the inside you'll see what I mean we are going to just give us a little bit of a, a place for our gift card to kind of peek out and we just want to make sure that this is kind of centered doesn't have to be perfect, but just eyeball it here and here. Okay. And then this will become our pocket in here. And it's kind of all blends in, but let's put this down. We're going to use tear tape because we want it to be very, very um, strong adhesive. You can use liquid glue, but you've got to make sure it really dries well. And we're going to go right up here. We want to go as close to the edge as possible. And if it hangs over a little bit, when you take off the release paper, you can just bend it back on itself and it actually will probably make it leave a little bit more secure, a little extra. So we'll just go right down the side and we're only going to do the three sides because we want to make sure that our um, gift card will fit in the top part and we'll just go here and I cut my tear tape instead of tearing it it's just easier for me and I like easy so okay so then I'm going to do my it's good to rub it down so that the release paper will come off easily we're just going to do our take your pick tool or your fingernail or whatever it is and just take this release paper off Oh, I went a little too fast with that one. There we go. And then we'll just take this last piece off. I've got a cough drop in my mouth, so excuse me if you can hear that. I still have a cough. I'm in, I think, week five after bronchitis. I can't get rid of it. So we're going to go way down the bottom and try to center it left to right okay and then let's make sure that our gift card fits in it i'm using my tj maxx card i have to remember when i'm done with this it still has money on it so i don't want to lose it but i don't usually have gift cards lying around i usually get rid of them when i uh when i use them and i haven't bought my christmas gift cards yet so 
So this is just going to fit right in here like this. It's a little bit snug, but it works. And I think after you put it in, you know, a couple of times, it'll work even better. So we've got our gift card in, and now we want to do our stamping. And I thought I would stamp this big present here. And um, it's from here. So it has the present and then it has the ribbon. And I wanted to use some of the greens. So we're going to use garden green and old olive. And I found if you do the ribbon first, it makes it easier to line up. And this is big. <laughs> this is a big present. So we're going to put it right here. And then we'll do the garden green. And then we'll use Pretty Peacock for a sentiment. And this way, you can line up as best you can. Isn't that cute? I thought it was really cute. So let me get the Pretty Peacock and we'll do, um, should we do, I did the sending cheer. You could do for you, no peeking. I'm gonna do the sending cheer again. And there'll be a place for, um, I should have practiced the other one. For you to write to and from and Merry Christmas, whatever you wanna write in there. And I keep thinking we should put something here. Maybe a strip. No, ha, that wouldn't be good. I don't know. I guess it's okay. So we'll put this down there. I'm wondering if we should uh, try to squeeze on another piece of the paper. Maybe the striped paper, because I am going to try to do the belly band in the striped. So maybe we could try to do that, even though I've already punched it. See if we can get it to work. I should have done that first. So it's sending cheer, and then you want to make sure, so there's two pieces that are, um, these are all four and an eighth wide, and then there's two that are three, and one that is that little eighth, two and seven eighths. So this one is going to go on the front, or on this side, and the other two are going to go on the bigger flap. So just make sure when you're doing this that you, um, Put the right one in the right place. I love these trees. I think they're so fun. So they're pretty peacock and old olive and garden green are the colors. And so the, these pieces are the same. And we're gonna put one right up here. There's a lot of trees. I was gonna use the merriest of trees set but I really like this one, this um, for gift cards. I think it's got good sentiments. So we'll just put this right here, like this. And then we're gonna do a belly band. So this will open and open. And I really want to do something here. Let's try, let me get the paper out and see if we can, um, let's see, I already have a strip. Is that too much tree? Let's try it with this. So I am going to cut this down <clears throat> so this we said was um, two and a half by four. So let's make it, let's make it two and a half by four. So, so we're going to do four. By two and a half. And I know I have the tree side up, but I'm going to do the stripe side. Will that be too much? 
Maybe it needs to be a little bit smaller. So let's go down a quarter. So we're going to go, or, or an eighth. So we have two and a half. We're going to do two and three eighths. One, two, three. Two and three eighths. And I will make sure this is all in the project sheet. Two and three eighths by three and seven eighths. All right, and then we have to get this. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll see. That's too far down. Try to get it, it's probably gonna be off a little bit. What I would suggest is that you do this ahead of time. Well, that's not bad. Is that too wild? I'm gonna go with it. I think it's okay. I just feel like there needs to be something here. You could put another label here or the present. The present would be too big. You could put something else here, but let's try this because then I'm going to do this striped on the outside. So this will close, this will close, and then we're going to put the belly band and we can just do it like this, like I have the other one but I thought it might be nice to have a stripe down there. Too busy? Which do you like better? And let's get um, the sentiment. So, and then we'll figure it out. The sentiment we're going to use is Open Me, and we'll do that in the Pretty Peacock. Okay, and then I'm going to punch it with this double, I love this punch, the double oval. And I like to just close it a little bit so that it, it holds it and then punch it. Okay, and then we have this little piece of, this is a leftover from when I cut it down to make the base. So let's put this down, this, I'm thinking the stripes might be too busy. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it without the stripes. I thought that would coordinate with this, but I think that's okay. All right, so now we want to do a little bit of tear and tape as well on this. So I'm going to put it on the bottom of this. Okay, and then the end of this, the top of this, I guess. So kind of the end of both of them. And then they're gonna overlap and stick to each other. Okay, and I like to do this on the gift card. And as I said, whoops, I did the wrong end. Did I do the wrong end? Oh, that wasn't smart. I feel like I did that on the other one. All right, well, I'm gonna do another one because that is not gonna work because I don't want this. I should have put it here, duh. I put it on the inside of both. I don't want this to stick to the cord. So ignore that, let's get this again. So this is one inch, let's see if we can get one inch out of this. It'll just make it. See, you see my mistakes. When I'm not videoing, you have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> you just see the finished product. And then this is seven and a half. All right. So let's put this aside. Let's do this again. So I'm going to just pull this up and pull this down. So now I want it on this and this. I think because I took it off the cord, 
that threw me off. So here and here, right? Usually I do it while it's on the card. <clears throat> okay, where's the end? There's the end. So I want it on here. And then on here. You could just put it here twice if you if that would be easier. Whatever's easier for you. You just don't want it to stick onto the gift card itself or the, the holder. So see this is hanging over. I'm gonna just fold it back on itself. So I'm gonna just fold this back and voila, we're good. It's a good thing I did didn't take off the tape before and put it down. I would have ruined the whole thing. Okay. So this is where you want it not too tight so that you can um, slide it. Okay. And then we want to put this together. And we're almost done. Sorry for all the do-overs and figuring it out as we go. Now you can put this down um, with a dimensional if you want. I just put it down and you only want glue or whatever you're going to put down in the middle. You don't want to go on either end because it's going to touch this and you don't want it to um, stick. Okay, so let's take it off. You open it up, take out the gift card. Isn't that pretty? I like it with the stripe. I think it just kind of ties it all together. And then we can put this back on. And I found that if you just squeeze it a little bit. Okay, and let's put some bling on it. So I thought we would use, these are pretty. These are the adhesive back glitter sequins. So we could do white or um, I think I'll do the green. It's not, I'll do these big ones. It's not pretty peacock, but there's a lot of different greens in here. And they are like a sequin. So they, um, they have a little dip to them. A little dippity doo da. Okay. So these are the two gift cards that you can make with this design. And you can make it with any paper that you want. And you can decorate this or not decorate it. And um, I think they're really cute. So come back next Friday and I will have another one, another gift card. I did one uh, two weeks ago. So if you look at my... YouTube channel or my blog you can search for gift card holders um, it was just two weeks ago so you don't have to look too far just scroll down and you'll be good thanks a lot and have a good day